Hi dear students and viewers welcome back to our channel and Vinay Kumar basics of physics dear students in this video we are going to discuss about one of the most important topic in the chapter of system of particles and rotatory motion and that is coming into the syllabus of intermediate first year physics so that's why you have to watch the video up to last without any skip got it children so it is quite similar to the law of conservation of momentum in case of translatory motion or linear motion we have law of conservation of momentum what it is if there is no external force acting on the body then there is no change in momentum of the body that is called law of conservation of momentum simply how we can write f is equals to dp by dt when force is zero then there is no change in momentum that is what we call law of conservation of momentum if there is no force acting on the body then there is no change in momentum of the body this is called law of conservation of momentum already we have idea about this in case of translatory motion the same thing we are going to discuss here in case of rotatory motion instead of force we have to say now if there is no external torque if there is no external torque acting on the body then there is no change in its angular momentum that is called law of conservation of angular momentum once again what it is children law of conservation of angular momentum if there is no torque acting on the body then there is no change in its angular momentum that is what we call law of conservation of angular momentum what it is law of conservation of angular momentum clear so here it is the same thing if there is no external torque acting on the body then there is no change in its angular momentum that is what we call law of conservation of angular momentum children simply we can write d by d d by dt of l is equals to 0 here tau is equals to dl by dt this is nothing but newton's second law what it is newton's second law in case of newton's newton's second law in rotatory motion in rotational motion rotational motion tau is equals to dl by dt <coughs> when there is no torque what do write so dl by dt dl by dt is equals to 0 dl by dt is equals to 0 tau is torque and t is the time then obviously what write dl by dt is equals to 0 there is no change in angular momentum there is no change in angular momentum that is what we call children law of conservation of angular momentum so now we can prove and we can discuss the examples also how we can prove the law of conservation of angular momentum dear students already we know that what is torque we know that the rate of change of angular momentum the rate of change of angular momentum is called torque so already we know that so how we get the formula tau is equals to s what rate d by dt of l d by dt of l where what is l angular momentum so already what we know but l is equals to i omega l is equals to i omega so that's why here what you would write tau is equals to d by dt of i omega so simple what it is torque when there is when there is no torque when there is no torque 
what you have to write 0 is equals to d by dd of l 0 is equals to d by dd of l so it means that what to write children d by dd of l is equals to 0 that means simply i1 omega 1 it is the initial in a moment of inertia initial angular velocity minus i2 omega 2 is equals to 0 clear here what is l angular momentum the initial moment of inertia is i1 angular velocity is omega 1 and second time after some time what we have I2 is the moment of inertia of the body and omega I2 is its angular velocity. That's why what right here? I1 omega 1 is equals to I2 omega 2. So this is nothing but children what it is? The, the moment of angular momentum is constant. What we know? L is equals to I omega. What is L? Angular momentum. Product of moment of inertia and angular velocity what it use? Angular momentum. That's why initial mo angular momentum is equal to final angular momentum. So this is what we call children. Yes, this is the proof of law of generation of angular momentum. Very simple. We know the formula of rate of change of angular momentum is called torque. And L is equal to I omega. If there is no torque acting on the body, tau is equal to 0. 0 is equal to d by dd of L. Then d by dd of L is equal to 0. Here L is what? Angular momentum. Angular momentum formula is what? I omega. So here L value is what? Nothing but I1 omega 1 minus I2 omega 2 is equal to 0. From the toward right, I1 omega 1 is equal to I2 omega 2. We have to write children. This is about the proof of law of conservation of angular momentum. Now we can go for examples children. Now let's discuss about the daily life examples of application of law of conservation of angular momentum. Before going to know about that, first you have to understand the what is the relation between moment of inertia and angular velocity. So what we know children, L is equals to I omega. L is equals to I omega. According to the law of conservation of momentum, L is constant then law of conservation of angular momentum in that what it is l is constant that's why what right i is proportional to 1 by omega there is some inversely proportional between the moment of inertia and angular velocity when moment of inertia is more angular velocity is less if moment of inertia is less angular velocity is more so that by based on that only we can explain the examples so the first example is one children when a person is standing on the standing on the one wooden wheel to decrease his velocity angular velocity he can stretches his hands while he was rotating on a wooden wheel when he was stretches the hands like this his moment of inertia is increase when moment of inertia is increase angular velocity is decrease clear if you want to increase the speed then he can fold his hands like this when he can fold his hands like this the moment of inertia is decreases and angular velocity is increases so that is the first example children and second thing acrobat so in circus we can observe that there is one swing it is there and they can be oscillates like this with some particular angular momentum once he was leave that swing initially he can stretches his hands and legs because to reduce the velocity and while he was in air he must be folded his hands and legs why because we can fold it means moment of inertia decreases and angular velocity is increases and before touches the ground again he can stretches his hands and legs because to increase the moment of inertia when moment of inertia increases angular velocity is decreases and the same thing we can up, we can observe in the same case of while we are looking at any swimming competitions if a person is jumping from uh, diving from a diving board 
diving body is at where more height from the swimming pool for example it is a swimming pool and it is one diving board is there diving board is there on the diving board one person is here there when he was jumped before when he was jumping he can stretches his legs and hands because to decrease the angular velocity by increasing its moment his moment moment of inertia when he was in air he folded his hands and legs like a ball he can brought his legs and hands very close to the body then moment of inertia is decreases angular velocity is increases when he was just ready to enter into the pool or water again he can stretches his hands and legs to increase the moment of inertia and decreases the angular velocity so children these are uh, examples for law of conservation of angular momentum so i hope you understand if you can understand this one like share comment the video and subscribe my channel to get the all notifications thank you for watching